I took over a year off and cut you some slack. Tell a friend to tell a friend. <laughs> Today besties, I'm filming a video which you guys have been waiting for for a whole year because this video gets so much love every single time I do it and I always love doing them as well. So of course this year I'm bringing back my annual back to school supplies haul 2023. The first time I did this video I was going into year 7 and now I'm going into year 12 slash 6 form to do my A levels which is just crazy. Like I don't understand how the past 5 years have gone by so 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 quickly. I was 11 and now I'm 16. Like someone someone make it make sense i did all my shopping at two stores i went to wh smith and also wilco and got everything i needed for the new school year yeah i'm so excited like this video just brings me so much joy for no reason so yeah i'm gonna show you guys what i've bought if you haven't seen me before my name is michaela and make sure you subscribe so you can see all the rest of my back to school content if you enjoyed this one because i've got more coming we have got more coming believe me i've got a what's my school bag which i'm gonna show you guys like how i pack all of this stuff and other stuff into my school bag for this year which i by the way i'm absolutely love with so i'll show you that in that video i'm also going to do a sit down q a type video where i give you guys all my high school advice because now i've obviously finished i want to give you guys all the stuff that i've learned before you go into year seven year eight year nine year ten and year eleven so yeah hopefully you guys all enjoy and let's get into it like i said i do my a levels now and i'm doing three subjects so from wh smith i bought three different binders for each of my subjects so basically i've watched quite a few videos about like year 12 six form advice my plan is to organize all my revision and notes that i do for year 12 into each folder so i'll use one binder for each subject and then organize all my notes and stuff into each one so everything is all organized and in one place because i'm not even gonna lie to you i was not that organized in my gcse's towards the end of year 11 like i was just so scattered everything was just everywhere and it was just doing my head in so i was like you know what a levels fresh start we're gonna be organized we're gonna be we're gonna be that girl i've got Got yellow blue and pink they're six pounds each but i got three for two so i got all these three for tough pounds so i actually think it's quite good our goal this year is to be a little rory gilmore and just be like just be that girl do you get it so that's hopefully going to keep me on top of all of my revision okay now moving on to wilco this is my wilco bag um where do i even start okay right First of all, I've got two refill pads because they don't give you books in sixth forms. You have to bring your own paper. So my plan is to like bring one of these into school to like do all my schoolwork like throughout the day in. And then I also got another one to do stuff at home with like my notes and revision at home. And then obviously I have to buy more throughout the year, but I thought I'd start off with two. I then have this little like clear A4 zipper like wallet bag thing. Oh. Um, just, it's very simple i'm gonna use it to keep all my homework and stuff that i get throughout the day and things to take home because me with papers that go into my bag does not end well it either ends up like wet or just crusty and just like it's not good when i hand it to teachers they're just like they're looking at me like what is this so i'm gonna keep this inside my bag and hopefully keep everything clean and tidy so when i hand it in it'll look presentable not like i've just picked it out of bin because that's not that's not what I want to give next year. Absolutely not. I then have these subject dividers to go inside my binders so I can like organize my notes like per topic. Just so I can again, you know, be organized and aesthetic because I want everything to be so put together. So when I actually come to revise, I can just like look at it and it's so easy to find everything straight away. I then have poly pockets to go inside my binders to once again keep everything organized and just you know looking clean and slick all the time my pencil case this year i got from wilco it's just like a plain black one and it's like shiny it is quite small but i found that having a big pencil case is actually so useless like i just don't need to do all that like there's no need i don't actually need to put that much stuff in my pencil case at one time i wanted to get a pencil case that was like this and not fabric because fabric just gets dirty so quickly and having dirty stuff like it's not given baddy so yeah, I got this one just because it will stay clean and nice all year round. I also got a clear pencil case. I mean, it won't be for like right now. It's more towards like the end of the year when I come to do like mocks and exams because I've had a clear pencil case throughout year 10 and year 11 for my mocks. But it's gotten so dirty and gross. I was like, you know, I'll just get another one um, to start off fresh because, you know, this year and it's given fresh start. So that's why I got this one. It's got a black zip. I mean, it's nothing special, but it's just for exams, basically. 
So yeah, I've got another one. I then have, you know, the basic classic pack of these Bic pens. These pens make your handwriting look so good. Like, I don't know what it is about them, but they're just so, like, they just make your handwriting look so neat all the time. I absolutely love them. I prefer to write in biro as well rather than, like, gel pens or ink pens because they just get everywhere. And then when you highlight stuff, like, the highlight gets all black. Like, no, it's not nice. And then have a classic pack of pencils also. This next thing is my favourite thing in this whole bag. And that's my highlighters. I'm a huge highlighter girl. Like, I highlight everything. I highlight my tiles. I highlight keywords. Like, just highlighting just makes everything look so good. Like, I don't know. It just, I love a bit of colour here and there. I got these big ones. I had these before. I had them in, like, year eight, I think. But I got them again this year because, obviously, I've got, like, a smaller pencil case than I usually would have. So, I was like, I want to get, like, smaller things. Um, and getting, like, the big, chunky Stabilo ones was just not going to work. So, I got these because they're thin and they'll fit in quite easily. There's four colours. We've got pink, yellow, green, and blue. And these last quite a long time as well so i definitely recommend these but oh my god highlighting is just so fun like i just love making my work look all pretty staying on the same theme i also have this pack of papermate ink joy pens i get these every single year to make my notes because what i do is when i like write a title i highlight it with one color and then i'll use a matching color to like do all my keywords and stuff like that um or key points with one of these pens it also comes with a black pen as well which i can use as like a normal writing pen but yeah there's eight colors there's pink red orange green light blue dark blue purple and then black these write so nice because the ink is so smooth like it's just so satisfying to write with if you're looking for color pens these are good ones because they don't smudge either because again they're biros so we love that i then have a water bottle I think it's so cute. It's one litre, which is like perfect. I wanted to get a bigger one because I think water is so important throughout the school days to help you keep focused. And I wasn't drinking enough water that school last year. So I wanted to get a nice big water bottle to make it myself to actually drink water throughout the day and you know stay hydrated i then have a snappy ruler i love these i get these every single year because they're full length ruler but then they snap in half so they store like so much easier inside a pencil case and then have a mini pritt stick i also have a tipex mouse i love these normal tipex are so annoying because it's like it's all inky you have to wait for it to dry and it's just a whole fat these are so 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 good like you make a mistake and you just put this over the top like it's tape and it dries literally straight away so you can write on top of it instantly pretty much it looks a lot neater than like the inky one as well i then have these sticky labels because i'm always labeling stuff like i want to label my binders as well like with each subject name and everything like that so these are always an essential as well i then have this rubber sharpener duo thing i got it from wh smith but rubber's like this and you have a sharpener on the other side oh okay there we go the, sh the sharpener there and then you just empty it out in the middle and that's pretty much it but yeah i like ones that come together like this they're just way easier and the last thing in here is hand sanitizer because school is a very gross place it's grimy it's grim people are vile and so hand gel is a huge 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 must throughout school and that i think is my back to school supplies haul 2023 i hope you guys enjoyed seeing what i bought for this new school year also stay tuned for my what's my school bag video coming up very very soon and other back to school content i love you guys and hopefully i'll see you all in my next video bye